In this video I'm going to show you how to work with construction lines and I'm going to show you how um, a couple of other tools work for drawing. So let's jump it in um, and get going. Construction lines are really helpful when you want to place objects at a certain distance but that distance might change in the future and you don't want to have to then, if you were say using a uh, circular pattern, you wouldn't want to have to then recreate or move everything around a whole bunch of times. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to also jump into a polygon tool and show you with how that works while we're at it. Okay, so let's go circumscribe polygon. There are other ones here. You can see how they work. Um, see which one works better for you. Um, circumscribed is when the circle's on the inside, and inscribed means the circle's on the outside of your polygon, and that's the diameter. So I'm going to go circumscribe polygon, which is the center diameter of the circle, which is inside my polygon. See how that looks? And I'm going to rotate my polygon around so that it's on one of the axes just to make it a bit easier and everything square. Um, so let's say I want this to be 48 millimeters on the inside um, uh, radius, I guess, actually. Um, and then I'm going to hit tab and say I want this to be... Um, let's say 8-sided. Okay, so then octagon. And I can hit OK. All right. So now my my circle, the diameter of my circle inside my circle inside my um, polygon here is going to be twice 48. So what's that? 96 is right. Okay. So 48 uh, radius, 96 diameter, and I've got eight sides. Okay. Now, what if inside here I wanted to put um, four circles or four other shapes? Let's say. Let's say. So. Um, and for instance, maybe they're not even. What if I was using a spline tool? It'd be even harder, right? I'd have to like try to recreate four of those all around. But we just learned about the circular pattern tool, so that's going to save us some time. Let's put in here for now. Let's put in circles um, that we're going to put on a on one of the axis lines as well. And I'll show you what I mean about the construction line. So let's say this is a 50 millimeter diameter circle. And I'm going to eventually have four or six or more of those. And the distance from the center I know I want to control because I'm building some sort of a tool that I know I need these circles, uh, these holes maybe, to be a certain distance from the center. But I'm not sure what the distance will be. Or maybe I'll have to change it later. I can tether this circle to, this, to a distance um, by using a line. So let's go and draw a line from the center to the midpoint of the circle. Okay, and hit the little check mark to be done. Okay, now, and let's hit escape to get out of the line tool. And now I could jump into the circular pattern tool and make a whole bunch of these right now, but if I ever wanted to change them, it would be a little bit tricky because I wouldn't be able to, I could change the diameter of the circle, no problem, but I couldn't change the distance to the center of the polygon. So what I can do is instead of, um, you know, cutting out that flexibility for the future, I can right click on this line and scroll down to where it says normal construction. And notice that that turns into a blue dotted line. And also note, because I drew the line to the center point and to the center point, it's got these little, um, it's got these little constraint icons, this little thing that's coincident that tells me that this line is attached. Now, if I go to create a circular pattern with this object, I just I should only have the circle selected. One the circle, one selected, and my center point, which is the center point of my polygon uh, polygon, yeah. And let's say I wanted four of them so they're even and, uh, what do I like? Mm, eight of them, one for each side. Okay, that looks nice. And say okay. Great. Now I've got eight, but at some point in the future my client comes back to me and they say, Well actually I want them to be not this distance anymore. I want them to be a certain specific distance. So let's first measure what we've got here. From here to here. That was 35. Okay, but what if I didn't want it to be 35? What if I wanted it to be 25? Because I've got that as a construction line, I can change that really easily. All I did was put a dimension on it, and then I can edit dimension, the dimension at any time and I can adjust. Super big time saver. 
for the future. Good work. <laughs>